Oh boy, my favorite money hungry YouTubers made a new product that I need to buy. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're discussing KSI and Logan Paul's newest money laundering scheme, Lunchly. Now as if Prime wasn't bad enough, they're deciding that they want to compete with Lunchables for some fucking reason. And as if the pairing of Logan Paul and KSI wasn't bad enough, you now have the trio of Logan Paul, KSI, and Mr. Beast post Ava Tyson controversy. Genuinely, the marketing for this product and the product itself looks so fucking terrible that I can't help but to hate on it. If it was good, I wouldn't hate on it, but it looks bad and it's just objectively bad. So like, I can't help but to look at it very negatively. Lunchly versus Lunchables. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch bar. Whoa. Feastables Crunch yeah! Bar. So 30 less calories, three less grams of fat, and eight less grams of sugar. Turkey Stack'em, stack 310 calories. 230 calories. 21 grams of sugar. Only seven grams of sugar. Okay, we'll start off with the Lunchables. Bro, I'm sorry, that's trash. All right, now we're trying Lunchly. Come on, we're not biased at all. Bro. The thing you're gonna notice throughout the advertising for Prime is the things they're advertising aren't good. You don't want your lunch for small children to not have calories. Calories is how these little children are getting their energy. Calories are good. You also want kids to have sugar too because again, that's a way of getting energy. Obviously, excess sugar isn't good, but you're not getting excess sugar from one fucking Capri Sun. Comparatively, the reason that there's less sugar in the Lunchly is because they use Prime, which has artificial sweeteners, which is worse for you than sugar. Like, it doesn't add up. The thing is they love to point out the electrolytes when all of the electrolytes obviously come from the prime and the thing about electrolytes is all electrolytes are is just a fancy way of saying sodium it's a fancy way of saying sodium and potassium that's all electrolytes are is just a fancy way of saying those so to make it your whole advertising thing is just so stupid i also love the we're not biased at all as you just spat out the lunchable as if it was just horrendous thing have you you guys have had a fucking cracker lunchable before are they the best thing in the world no but they are never bad enough where you're spitting it out like that that is just outlandish and on top of that how are you going to say you're not biased but boo for a crunch bar and cheer for a mr beast crunch bar as if they're not essentially the same thing held the fucking mr beast one's probably worse chocolate because mr beast probably gets his fucking chocolate from the congo slaves but ours is way better <laughs> fiesta nachos 22 grams of sugar 10 grams of sugar 7 grams of protein 9 grams of protein coming close and look at the queso cheese and lunchly versus whatever that is oh, drip gosh. versus stick i like my cheese drippy bro 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 he likes his cheese drippy bro quite literally the only thing lunchly like has on Lunchables is the fact that it's real cheese. But the problem is both are considered ultra processed foods, even regardless of if it's real cheese. So like you're still giving them the same shit just in a different like colorway pretty much. This is a lunchly salsa right here. Look at the consistency, the texture. And this is Lunchables. This hey, look it's watery. It's I can't even look at that. We're not biased at all. With 400 milligrams of electrolytes, my god! And it's available for around $4. Uh, Super affordable. Go give oh it a try. Spoken like a true rich snob who does not know shit about affordability. What do you mean affordable? $4 for one lunchable? Are y'all stupid? Do y'all realize that normal lunchables cost like $2 and the knockoff ones cost like like a dollar? You have lost your damn minds for trying to charge four dollars and thinking that's a reasonable price for Lunchables. You know the reason why kids oftentimes get Lunchables for lunch at school? It's because Lunchables are cheap and it's what middle class to lower class people can afford. I don't know why you're thinking motherfuckers are trying to spend damn near five dollars on a fucking Lunchable. A worse Lunchable at that. Right there, that's what approved. <laughs> okay, try turkey stacking. I'm not gonna tell you how to stack it. I know how to stack it. Oh, where did you stack them? That's what approved. Have you tried Vistables? It's so many. Oh, it says Vistables on it. There's also a mini prime. Oh, I love this flavor. I'm sure you do, kid. I feel like the main target demographic of kids that Logan Paul is trying to reach with this is literally just kids like Rizzler and kids who find him funny. I can't imagine anyone over the age of 10 wanting to buy this. 
and anyone under the age of 10 having this advertising work on them. I love pepperoni. What I do to spread it out is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drizzle a little cheese on there. Yeah. Slice pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> Real cheese in that pizza, you know? Edward's approved. Am I tweaking or did the pizza have a crunch? Why did it have a crunch? That's very, like, odd. That shouldn't... That's not how that should be. However, I want to take this over to Dr. Mike now because he kind of went over the nutrients and whether or not this is good for your kids. So let's see what Dr. Mike has to say. Looking in the comparison, I'd be most interested in calories, which they have, protein, which they have, sugar, which they have, saturated fat, which is missing, and sodium, which is not only missing, but replaced by electrolytes. And unlike all the other macros, is only labeled potassium and only in the prime bottle in the kit, comparing it to the Capri Sun in the Lunchable. This is a pretty weird marketing choice to label electrolytes and food products. It's such a strange choice that it even stunned fellow Dr. Brian Suterer, who tweeted, Sodium getting rebranded as electrolytes will be taught in marketing textbooks one day. And then sadly, it was a shame to see Logan attack instead of starting a meaningful dialogue with the doctor, given that 400 milligrams is not the amount of electrolytes in Prime, at least in the image that Logan shared. 400 milligrams of potassium plus five milligrams of sodium equals 405 milligrams of electrolytes. So not only does Logan not know what electrolytes are, not only does he get defensive when he's educated on what they are, but he doesn't even know how many fucking electrolytes are in his own product. And it's right, because remarketing sodium as electrolytes really is a genius marketing thing because people are too stupid to see what electrolytes actually really are and think this is some new fucking thing that's going to magically make them better when in all reality you're probably just doubling your sodium intake each time you take a drink of prime if i want to decide if a food is right for me i like to be able to compare the entire electrolyte profile which would have to include sodium it's like having a pb and j sandwich label that says what's in the sandwich you know protein fats calories but then the sugar line only tells you what's in the peanut butter as opposed to the jelly in the entire sandwich. I wanted to go further and do the comparisons myself using the nutrition facts from the Lunchables and Lunchly websites. And it's honestly really hard to draw perfectly clear conclusions for several reasons. One, I don't have nutrition facts for each part of the kits. For example, how many calories come from Feastables versus the food component. Second, some of the portion sizes aren't the same. The turkey cracker kit from Lunchables is 82 grams, while Lunchly's is 72 grams. Three, there are so many varieties of Lunchables that just swapping out the flavor of Capri Sun caused significant differences in sugar and calorie content. What I was able to conclude is that Lunchly has less sugar and therefore less calories than Lunchables in comparable kits. That's probably due to the drink component of the kit, as Capri Sun uses sugar and Prime is artificially sweetened. Lunchly has significantly more potassium than Lunchables because of the Prime drink. Lunchly has slightly less sodium and saturated fat than comparable Lunchables. That's definitely moving in the right direction. However, both differences were fairly small. Lunchly does use real cheese as opposed to cheese product, signaling that at least one ingredient is less processed than in Lunchables. But the entirety of the kit is still considered an ultra processed meal. Lunchly has higher amounts of A and B vitamins, which can be good, but also can be problematic as vitamin A is a fat soluble vitamin and kids can easily over consume it leading to toxicity. Being that it's fat soluble means that you can't just urinate excess out. This has actually been raised as an issue by experts with Prime in general. Not only do they not really properly list the amount of calories and amount of sodium and all that, but they don't even tell you where the calories are coming from specifically which is really bad considering a feastable probably has hella calories and it probably has a majority calories in it so who knows how much calories you're actually getting from just the crackers and the cheese the other thing he points out is the amount of vitamin a and b which is also a good thing to point out because kids getting this are just wanting to support their youtube right out they're actually like focused on like getting a whole good meal so they're probably just gonna be scarfing this shit down filling themselves up with too much vitamins, that's gonna become toxic. Is it fair to say that Lunchly is healthier? I guess one can say yes, but honestly, probably more so as a marketing tactic. The reason why? Well, let's look at the recently passed nutrition standards set forth by the USDA for school lunches and see how Lunchly compares. Less than 10% of calories should come from saturated fat. Lunchly turkey, 23% of calories come from saturated fat. Less than 10% of calories should come from added sugars. 
sugars. Lunchly turkey, 10.4 comes from added sugars. But this is where things get really interesting and for some reason, no one has pointed this out. You see, USDA caloric guidelines say that a lunch meal for kids K through eight should contain around 625 calories. Kids need energy to function and calories give them that energy. Lunchly turkey contains only 230 calories, which would mean a kid would need to eat about 2.7 portions to consume enough calories. They'd get nearly 1300 milligrams of sodium. So they'd be either under eating calories or overeating sodium. Grain guidelines state that 80% of lunch meals must be whole grain, and Lunchly Turkey does not list any whole grain ingredients. So it does not fit the school cafeteria guidelines of what a kid should and shouldn't eat for lunch. So that in itself says a lot. And now, is it technically healthier than Lunchable? Sure, probably by a little margin because the cheese. However, is it healthy like they claim it to be? No, it is not even in the fucking slightest. And that's why everyone has an issue with it is because they're claiming this shit to be healthy when it's not healthy at all. DantiDM made a tweet about this kind of calling out the same thing I'm calling out. And I want you guys to just watch KSI's response to this. It's a really just immature response. I think it just makes everything make sense regarding as to why Lunchly is already not doing good nah jj's cook bro <laughs> and then there's a tweet from jack septicai you mess with dan tdm you mess with the youtube i mean that's cringe uh <laughs> Dog farm, for me that's cringe farm. No shit's gonna be cringe for you. You're the one getting fucking dogged on, idiot. I used to watch KSI, but his videos are always such a rinse and repeat cycle of him reading a Reddit post, laughing about something that he says. He doesn't even laugh at the post. He laughs at a joke he makes and he just does his laugh constantly because it's the only thing people fucking actually find funny about him dude nothing you said was even funny nothing about the post was even funny it's just you getting fucking dogged on and tdm response to jj and logan's new announcement there we go here's the context we need so what happened to youtubers man i cannot say anything anymore this is selling stuff for the sake of making money simple how does this benefit their lives? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better! Do better! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well... Um, let me go to Twitter uh, to show my response. Looks like crap to me while showing his toys that he sold to kids. <laughs> how does this benefit your fans, Dan? I'll tell you how it benefits his fans, JJ. The majority of Dan TDM fans at the time were children. And children, in order to get the mental enrichment that they need, and in order to grow up properly with a properly working mind, they need toys to play with. A variety of toys, and specifically toys that came to their interest. And if someone's interest is Dan TDM, then that means they're going to want to play with a Dan TDM toy. And doing so is going to help them grow up to be more creative, more outgoing, more sociable. Just all in all, have more fun growing up. Now, obviously, people didn't realize that I was sh shining a mirror in his face. Instead, they were like, Uh, wait, you did the same as Dan. You made uh, toys with tube heroes. And yes, that's fair. But I'm not the one complaining. <laughs> AJ, I really hate to break it to you. You are the one complaining. You made a 20 minute video about this whole thing. Okay then, he was talking about food, not merchandise and toys. He was sponsored, then promoted, and made a whole video on Munch Pack, a monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids. Now what? All of that forehead, JJ, and you have no brain in there? That's crazy. It's not at all comparable, JJ. One, Dan doesn't own the company. He was just sponsored for a singular video. Two, he was not advertising this as some healthy thing for lunch. He was advertising it as candy, thing you eat every now and then because it's not good for you. Three, again, not his company. He's not making advertising for it. He's not putting commercials out for it. And he's also not trying to compete with any other brand by doing this. He is outright just getting money from a sponsorship, promoting candy, which everyone knows isn't healthy and which no one is claiming to be healthy. 
unlike you. Now, this did kind of strike a more personal chord with me because Dan TDM is the person who inspired me to do YouTube, believe it or not. It originally was meant to be a Minecraft channel. Again, I don't like motherfuckers going at him, especially considering the fact that he's right. And especially knowing that Prime has dangerous chemicals in it and knowing that it is pretty much essentially just as unhealthy as Lunchable, it's just such a scammy, scummy thing to do to your fans. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Nothum. Prime Solicious is immortal lead.